Hello everyone, this is Freedom Dove here. I thought I would do a follow-up video with my Energy Apex to show you that it will run my little 12 volt fridge just fine. I've actually already ran it for 24 hours as a test and I just didn't film any of it. And so I thought I would plug it back in and film some of it for anybody who's curious. It doesn't have a problem running it. it didn't even take 50% of the charge to run it 24 hours so it runs it just fine. I did have a problem when I was getting ready to test my heating pad on the 110 volt. I actually had it on DC just to run this and then I turned it off and turned it to the right to activate the whole panel and my refrigerator actually freaked out and it gave me an error code and so I turned it off and I'm hoping that that reset it and I won't have an error code when I turn turn it back on if I do then you will probably never see this clip <laughs> all right so here we go turning it DC only and the compressor on this refrigerator doesn't actually start for three minutes, but I'll show you here. We're at 100 watts, or 100%, sorry. And it's pulling four watts just for the display there. And this, I haven't had it very long, so, okay, here we go. I don't know if that will help. Let's see. I already had it set at 40, and so I don't need to adjust that. I already did all the settings on this when I first plugged it in. But like I said, the compressor doesn't actually turn on for three minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and start my timer, and I'll do what I did in the last video and just do counting up. Because I'm going to do a 24 hour test, so I'll have the timer there for reference when I do record. So I will get back to you. It's starting at 77 degrees. And when I did the test the last time, it only took about a half an hour to get down to the target temperature and it had pulled hardly any energy whatsoever so I will get back to you all right y'all I don't know if you can hear it or not but the compressor just kicked on he's down there somewhere it's very dark back in that corner you can probably hear it though. And right now, we're pulling 33, but when it first kicked on, it was pulling like 46 right when it first kicked on. So, we're well on our way to having a cold little refrigerator, thankfully. And the error code didn't come back on, so. I'm happy about that. Turning it off fixed whatever problem I had. But I guess I probably won't show too much more. I might. I don't know. I might periodically show you a couple clips during the 24 hours, but more than anything, I just wanted to show you the end result after it had been on for 24 hours. Alright, talk to you later then. Alright, here's another little update. It has been 19 minutes, 19 and a half minutes. It's down to 50 degrees. And I just wanted to let you know that it did remember the temperature setting that I gave it, but it defaulted back the compressor can either go on max or on eco and on the first time that I tested this I had it on eco 
and then the battery protection goes from high, medium to low, and I had it on low because I don't really need the battery protection with my lithium battery. But those were the only differences, and it got down to 60 degrees in 15 minutes before I realized that I needed to turn that back to the eco mode. But down here, so you can spike it, see it spiking to 54 watts. But it's just been going up and down pretty much, but the compressor's staying on this whole time. But yeah, it might actually not take a full half an hour. See, it's already at 48. It's pretty quick. I like this little refrigerator. Except for the fact that it didn't like it when I turned it from DC power to AC and DC. So, I just wanted to show you that. And I guess I will get back to you here in probably just a few minutes. It's not going to take it very much longer to get up to, or get down to temperature, however you want to say that. Alrighty, here we go. It has reached my target temperature. Actually, it went a little bit below that, and the compressor is turned off. It's been 26 minutes, so it really didn't go that much faster just because it was on max. See if it'll focus. Here we go. It's still at 100% and it's drawing 8 watts. That includes the power it takes for the display, plus a little bit for the refrigerator right now. And I actually, I have this thermostat. It was in my other refrigerator, and so I took it out, and I'm letting it come to room temperature. It's at 56, and so it's probably good enough to go ahead and put in here. It's pretty consistent. The display seems to be off a little bit. Let's see if I can read that. Yeah, so it's at 56. But it seems pretty accurate because when I was testing it the last time, I had that thermometer in there and it was reading one degree off from the display. So, I like my little refrigerator. If you guys want a review of that separately, then just let me know. Alright, I will get back to you later then. Alright guys, so I'm going to do one more update for the night. And it has been an hour and 11 minutes. The compressor just kicked on. The display says 41, and we're still at 100%. The compressor's on, so that's why it's so high on the wattage. And the last time I did this test, it actually took like three hours for the apex to go down to 99%. So, it does a really good job. And let's see. This is 42 degrees, but this is at the warmest spot of the refrigerator. Like it's a lot colder up against the walls. And this is the compressor right here. So it's about right. It says 42 in there, and the display says 41. So everything's going well. So I will get back to you tomorrow morning then with another update. All right, you guys, we've got a problem. <laughs> it's been 24 hours, and my refrigerator has aired out again. Let's see if you can see it. 
error, error, error. And it must have just shut off. Like it's been almost 25 hours. It must have just shut off because I just checked it a couple hours ago and it was fine. Here we are. 65% so it still has plenty of battery left and this time I did not touch the, the switch I did not turn it to um, activate the whole panel so now I'm wondering if this thing would have gone into error mode the last time the first time I tried it out I wonder if it would have gone into error mode even if I had not um, switched the apex over. So I don't know what's wrong and it's like 10.30 at night so I can't call customer service right now. I'm not happy about this though. But I just wanted to let you know that it did run for 24 hours and that's how much it took out. And the 11 watts is just for this LED display and for the L LED display up here. It's not doing anything. It's already back up to 58. So the lights come on. The light still comes on. But the compressor is not coming on anymore. So I'm going to have to deal with that tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you an update anyways because it did run for 24 hours and there I don't think it has anything to do with Apex I believe that this is definitely a problem with my 12 volt fridge here so wish me luck <laughs> I did get a five-year warranty on this thing so if all else fails I'll just send it back in I guess but hopefully customer service will be able to help me out tomorrow all right y'all I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Alright, so I looked online and found that the error 1 code on this refrigerator means that it's low voltage. And I had the battery protection down at the very lowest level on here. You can see it in the previous clips when I had it on. I turned it down to the lowest protection and it still shut it off at 65% when that was at 65% so this is a problem <laughs> because pretty much all of these 12 volt fridges no matter what brand you buy has that low voltage protection on it and I don't need that the lithium battery can go down a lot lower than the lead acid and the AGM batteries and I don't need it to protect it at that level that it's pro it should not shut it off at 65% that's pretty ridiculous if you ask me so what I think I'm going to do is recharge the Apex and then take my other adapter because it has a uh, 110 volt adapter and plug that into there and you know just use it off of the inverter and try a 24 hour test with the fridge using the inverter and see how much power that takes compared to how much power it took to run it on DC so I may or may not do another clip after this for right now you can just be assured that it does work to run a 12 volt fridge but <laughs> unless you can find a 12 volt fridge that won't shut it down too soon then that might be a problem so I don't know I'm gonna work it out I'm gonna see what happens and it's possible I might always have to have that inverter on and that would that would bite <laughs> I don't want to do that but I guess if I have to I will all right talk to you later all